What's up guys, today we're going to check out Taipei Zoo in Wenshan District, Taipei City. Taipei Zoo is one of my favorite zoos because the caged up animals are well taken care of and they don't actually eat anybody unlike some other zoos in other Asian countries. It's all coming up right now. We are now at uh, Taipei Zoo. We are trying out the uh, new local variety of the new primate poop coffee. coffee. It is uh, similar to the uh, cat poop coffee, except it comes from primate. So let's try. Mm. It's as expected. So on this side of the wall, it's a great depository of poop. It's McDonald's on the other side and a lot of poop on this side. Uh, I think they're pretty much close together. Uh, the taste is also pretty close. Um, yeah, so uh, can't really tell the difference. So this is the uh, famous Taiwan V bear in a very, uh, very suggestive position. It's like uh, this is the pretty much the only action that uh, people who go to the zoo get, which is uh, looking at this bear, uh, possibly getting some action. Very interesting, as you can see, it has the V, V uh, little tie on its on its neck. Uh, perhaps it's playing dead. Uh, who knows? But it's um, looks like they didn't uh, do too much endowment down there. But uh, yeah, it's okay. It should be for the kids, you know, friendly for the kids. So. Uh, these flamingos look very nice. Like they have no weight problem at all. And I actually think I see my mom uh, down there, over there in the water, back when she was younger uh, and, and not fat or obese. Probably the one uh, kneeling, uh, kneeling a little bit down there. So pretty, pretty, pretty beautiful flamingos. Flamingos, yeah. Still holding on to the primate poop coffee. Uh, it's not so terrible after the first few sips. Um, and as you can see, here's a mural which says save the rainforest. Yeah, so we're gonna save the rainforest by taking animals from the wild and putting them in cages. Yeah. I just found Bo by there, uh, right, that guy over there. Uh, looks like he's addicted to something, definitely like aging kind of grandpa style for most and monkey. Probably addicted to bananas or so, some other type of regular nourishment. Uh, he has a huge addiction problem, uh, as you can see from his typical uh, behavior over there. So definitely, definitely Joe Biden's son. These monkeys remind me about another story about monkeys, uh, this story from India. Apparently this monkey got really drunk and uh, went on a rampage and it was jailed for 20 years in India. So yeah, I mean, at least those monkeys got their day in the sun, got really crunk, got their chance to uh, go on a huge drunken rampage, but these monkeys got no chance, you know, as you can see, they're pretty hard to hop the fence over here, so yeah. We just found the, the famous Taiwan V-Bear because this is uh, Taiwan, uh, not usually uh, people don't get eaten by wild animals. Bears, bears, bears. If it's black, fight back. If it's brown, lay down. If it's white, good night. If it's Taiwanese, uh, you don't know what to do, really. I 
I just found the uh, the famous uh, swindle ho pheasant. Uh, it doesn't look anything like the Western pheasant. Uh, swindle ho pheasant in Taiwan is actually named after the famous uh, swindle hoes in Wanhua District, Taipei City, in the red light district. And uh, apparently they were, they were so good, and they still are really good at swindling johns on the street when they're tricking, uh, that, th that this, this pheasant was named in their honor. Uh, you know, of, out of all, all of those, uh, you know, aging, retired uh, swindle hoes uh, that are swindling on the street. Uh, so, as you can see, this, uh, this swindle hoe pheasant uh, doesn't have a lot of beautiful coloration. It's mostly brown, and that's because the, uh, the, uh, most of the customers are older Johns who, who don't prefer, like, really super colorful, crazy-type clothes or plumage. Um, so that's why uh, it's actually not not very bright at all. So uh, and it looks like it's it's not working right now. I think it's usually the sunil hoes just work maybe two or three days uh, per week, and the other time they they mostly eat or, or uh, you know take diet pills or things like that. So uh, no sunil hoe today, but the males are still out. You know they're still looking for uh, they're still looking for the girls. Yeah. I just found the uh, the local Formosa deer, also called as the local Bambi. Uh, the local Bambi is very famous because it shows up about two hours late on, on a date, uh, and also it uh, it wants you to carry uh, all the bags. Have uh, one car, one house, uh, you know, like no money, no honey. Uh, so it's quite a material uh, Bambi, as you can see. It's uh, it's uh, it likes its uh, comforts. Definitely likes its comforts. Yeah. I just had the most amazing uh, 20 minutes of my life at uh, Taipei Zoo with myself. Uh, and what did we learn uh, from going to this uh, zoo slash kindergarten combination? Uh, number one, animals suck. Two, zoo suck. You suck. Everybody sucks. Uh, update, I just found the uh, second most action that uh, people who go to the zoo today will see in their uh, daytime today. Uh, which is a dog biting uh, Santa's ass. Uh, the uh, first most uh, action people are going to see today would have been and was the uh, spread eagle missionary position V bear, uh, which is actually right over there. Uh, so this is uh, definitely uh, a cheap attempt to attract a lot of kids uh, and parents with families. Just found this uh, large cat. Uh, there's a lot of symbolism here, actually. Uh, as you can see, it's carrying a little luggage, carry-on. Uh, and the meaning is that we can all aspire to travel internationally. And uh, this is actually, this cat here is actually more than the number of people that traveled uh, outside of uh, Taiwan uh, since the, the blockade, the flights blockade, in the past few months. So it uh, really is a pioneer, pioneer paving the way for everyone else to get out. Symbolism here, uh, animals on top of a pink strawberry cake. Uh, this just means that you can eat most of the wild animals and they probably taste pretty delicious on top of a pink cake. So this is uh, teaching the younger generation to treat animals with respect and uh, possibly delicious flavor, uh, you know, in the form of strawberry or perhaps like cotton candy flavor. I just got done with uh, Taipei Zoo. Uh, 
uh, pretty disappointing. No monkeys would take my bananas today, but you know, better luck next time. You know, those those monkeys, they got, they got to down their bananas one way or another. Got to be presentable, look good for the public, put on a nice banana belly. Yeah, you know, just, just uh, got to keep on chugging bananas. Don't forget to subscribe and demolish that like button, like totally annihilate. Like you gotta annihilate it like an elephant in heat in Africa or a macaque trying to trade a piece of fruit for some attention from a female or, or an elderly sex bat who just finished quarantine in Bangkok but just, just completely annihilated, like just drop the whole bomb on that like button and, and I'll see you soon. to put a gift by the Christmas tree. Uh, as you saw before, the uh, first most action people are going to see today in their time today uh, was the Spread Eagle Missionary Sea Bear, uh, which, uh, <laughs> which is right over there actually. So. Here in my garage, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, brup, 30. That's how many bananas the average CEO eats in a year. But you know what's more important than bananas? Monkeys. And you know what's more important than monkeys? Knowledge. Knowledge. That's why I read so many books every 10 years. Thanks for watching. I want to know what you think. Have you ever been forced to go to the zoo? What kind of cage up animals do you enjoy watching in your free time? Let me know and comment below.